I'm Joe Levi with Pocket Now, and this is a hands on with Aviate Launcher, an Android launcher from Yahoo. We tried out the Yahoo Aviate Launcher on our Huawei Ascend Mate 2. Overall, it looks very nice, it looks right at home. Let's get into exactly what it does. First of all, you've got a big picture area that can be shared with a widget or two if you're lucky. Unfortunately, updates to this screen aren't quite in real time. As you can tell, our clock is about 11 minutes off, and that's not uncommon. Now, that's kind of a battery saving thing, we assume, and we hope that it catches up, but in the meantime, it's more of an annoyance than anything at all. You can also see we've got a nice picture album. You can put a couple side by side if you want. Down at the bottom are your favorite apps, and you'll notice you've got uh, missed indicators. So I've got a missed call and I've got an unread email that I still need to get to. You can customize these and you don't have to have five. You can have less. You can even have a couple more, depending on the size of your screen. Let's go over to apps first. We'll scroll over to the side. This is kind of interesting. It goes through and automatically categorizes each one of your apps into what you do at home, social, productivity, entertainment, music, news, transit, photography, and you can add even more collections. This will automatically pull in apps that it thinks belong. You can even add your own. And if you want to find out more, tap on the icon and it brings up suggestions. If you want to add something, you don't have to go to the Play Store. All you have to do is add, and all of the Play Store stuff happens in the background while you wait. Of course, if you need credentials, you'll have to go ahead and put that in, but it's a relatively easy way to get information and applications into the appropriate categories. Get to your full list of apps, you just slide one more time. It's alphabetized, and it's got kind of this quick index so you can see exactly where you are in the list. One thing that's kind of inconsistent is the alphabet kind of blends in with this first row of icons and it's a little bit difficult to see where one thing starts and another one stops. So in the future we'd like to see that moved over to the side even though there will be a little bit of wasted space. The panel to the left right now has this cog. Now this is time, location, and activity sensitive. So right now it thinks I want some settings information. It's showing me my battery percentage and the state of my battery saver. It's got a utilities collection, my quick toggles, and a bunch of other things including my home and work location so I can hurry and quickly change those if I want to. Here we can see this is uh, morning time. I've got all of this other stuff in here. It's got my calendar. It's got the current weather and a forecast. And it's doing all this automatically for me. It's got some of my morning news so I can quickly swipe through there. Just be careful not to get too aggressive or you'll come back over to your home screen. And then of course, it's got another collection. We can add more collections, we can add more widgets, just like that to any one of these. While we're moving, I can quickly get directions to my home, which you saw pre-programmed on my settings page, directions to work, directions to the location of my next meeting, and a bunch of apps that fall into the transit collection, and again the ability to add another collection of widgets or add a widget. Nearby tells you what is around you, what's near your location. You can go in and find more information about it very quickly and easily, including some nice cover art that's sometimes accurate and sometimes a pizza box. So it needs a little bit of work there, but very nice. You've got tips, you can add icons, you can add widgets, all kinds of stuff. The really, really weird thing or creepy thing, if you will, the other day, when I first installed this, I was out to lunch, I pulled into my local burger joint, and after I placed my order, I looked and there were tips down in the field. Now, unfortunately, that burger place isn't rated very well, and had I known that just a few minutes before, I probably would have picked someplace else to go, but it knew where I was, and it presented information to me immediately, almost when I needed it. You've got other things you can do, listening for listening to music and, uh, and podcasts and whatnot. You've got work for what you do during your work life. And this is all going to change based on where you are and the time of day. So it's very, very context sensitive and showing you what you want. 
Now, if you like showing this kind of stuff off, there's even a share button. Tap on that and it'll let you share your, your current home screen via whatever social network that you want to. Overall, kind of cool, really a, an interesting approach to a, uh, a launcher. It's something that takes a little bit of getting used to, but the nice thing about it, it gets used to you rather than the other way around. And I can't tell you how glad I am to finally see this because this is the same way that I organize my icons in folders. This did it all automatically for me, which is nice because I haven't had a chance to go through and do that on this Huawei yet uh, to make it look like my own. And this launcher's just automatically done it and it's super nice, super happy. It gets you the information that you need right when you need it. We love it. It's a nice launcher and we think you should give it a try. If you're into Android launchers and want to see what you can do to customize your Android, head on over to pocketnow.com. If you like the video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends on any one of your favorite social media networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi. We'll catch you next time.